challenging uh, was it to, uh, to select your, your team uh, and get the balance right in terms of people on the pitch and on the, on the, on the bench for tomorrow? Yeah, no, it, these are always very, very tricky, as we know, for lots of different reasons. Um, a lot of moving parts during the course of our regular season here. Um, so for a lot of our regular Guinness Pro 14 games, we do a lot of chopping and changing. So we end up racking up quite a lot of players that are involved in the games over the course of the season. Um, so, yeah, no, it's tough. You know, and a lot of guys are unlucky to miss out. Um, and uh, But that's, that's just the nature of the competition. We know at the start of the season that's the way it is. Um, you know, we have to be respectful. You know, when guys go away with Ireland, you know, we try to celebrate that fact. And when they come back in, you know, we have to be respectful of what some of those guys have achieved as well. Um, so, as you say, it's it's about trying to get the balance, and you know, hopefully, we've got that in the 23 that we have. But um, there's definitely a few guys that are, are very very unlucky to uh, to miss out. Um, a few guys have picked up knocks as well. Um, some miss out through injury, but um, other guys have very very tight selection calls there as well. Um, yeah, he's a great character now, Dev. Um, very, very popular amongst the group. So, um, yeah, like in many ways, he's your the classic gentle giant, isn't he? Um, you know, he's he's um, you know, I remember f first watching him play. Um, he was playing for the Irish schoolboys against Wales in, in Donnybrook, and uh, you know, you just he's definitely a standout individual. <laughs> you don't forget him um, when you see him. Um, I went away to England at that stage, so he got, he would have got capped. Uh, for Leinster first when I, when I was away and um, yeah, when we came back you know we're we're competing and at, at some points with each other and you know playing a lot together as well and you know I was just trying to help in, in terms of his development in that early stage of his career um, but to see how he's progressed from those early days um, and what he's achieved in the game um, it's incredible really you know so um, dur his durability obviously the thing that stands out in terms of his Becoming the record cap holder over and taking uh, Gart. Um, so, and you know, what he's achieved with Ireland as well, it, it's been amazing now. So, um, yeah, I know it means a huge amount to Dev and his family, what in terms of hitting this milestone and, you know, all the things that he's, he's done in Leicester Jersey. So, hopefully, he'll have a big day now tomorrow because um, it's a huge game. I just have to follow a final question for me, if you don't mind, just in relation to Munster, your thoughts on their selection. Yeah, it's pretty similar to the team that we would have faced in uh, Tolman in, in back at the end of January. So, um, obviously Conway, Andrew Conway comes back in, um, good black rock man. Um, and yeah, you know, but overall it's um, it, it's pretty much what we would have expected. So, um, yeah, there are two teams that will be going hard at it. Um, such a brilliant fixture this, isn't it? You know, so for, for lots of different reasons. Um, but yeah, we know those guys will be motivated um, to support our guys are motivated as well for their own reasons as well. Um, so yeah, no, it, it should be a great challenge. Um, but uh, yeah, as you see, like they've, it's a, it's a team that we, we, we know well as and we know a lot of the players, they know our guys very, very well. Um, I think one of the players said this week, it's, it's strange when they spent, a lot of them have spent the last eight weeks together as best friends and now they're coming into battling out against each other um, after battling with each other over the last couple of months. Um, but yeah, even you can see in different glimpses of Munster and how they're evolving their game as well with the coaches. So it's just important that we understand all the different threats. There's some of the traditional threats, but there's some more recent ones there as well. Um, obviously Joey, another Black Rock man, good to see him coming back in as well for them. So um, big, big game for him as well. You're obviously on the best to make sure Black Rock is working so very well. <laughs> Okay, guys, anyone else for the live section, or are we okay to swap over? Jerry Parry, do you want to ask any questions? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of hype. Um, I just wondered with the, the six day turnaround uh, from the internationals, uh, how some of the guys uh, coming back in, like Robbie Henshaw, Hugo Keenan, uh, Jack Conan, and that, uh, will, you know, is it difficult, difficult for them to remain on 
at a level to play in, in the, the final. Yeah, we were just trying to get as much information as we could from from the guys after the get after the test against England on Saturday. Um, so we had some conversations on Sunday just to see how guys were. Um, you know, again, being respectful of what the, some of the individuals have done within that kind of group setting away with Ireland, as you say, the, the Scotland and England game. Um, and yeah, we made some calls off the back of that, basically. So, um, you know, because we, we want to try and you know, make some calls reasonably early in the week based on, you know, how we think guys are travelling physically. So it's trying to get overall across the group, you know, obviously that, that front row, say, as an example, were, were due to be on the bench together. I know Keane came into the game pretty early against England. Um, Dev and, and Scott Fardy obviously played plenty together and, you know, Reese, Josh, Jack, like they've all been doing something slightly different. So, um, you know, Luke and Ross played together um, against Ulster not that long ago. Uh, obviously, Jemison and Johnny have played together as well. Coming off the bench would be important for us as well. So, just all the way across the team, it's it's looking at the combinations really, um, and trying to see how quickly we can get that all to come together. So, um, it's something that we've faced before. You know, if you remember back in the at the end of the autumn series, um, when the players come back in for that Montpellier away game, you know, we had some similar enough kind of I guess conversations and selections off the back of that as well. So. Um, yeah, but it's unusual. Yeah, it's it's because it's a it's a final now. And once the winners go off and lift the trophy at the end of it, and the losers um, have to lick their wounds and get ready for the following week. Oh, okay, and, and just uh, one other question. Yeah, um, Jerry Carberry back at our half Munster, and then recent meeting Munster and Leinster being so tight. Do you think that uh, Munster slide out? In the half back, maybe? <laughs> I hope not. Um, I believe all the pundits are tipping Munster strongly now, so that's what Marcus tells me here. Um, but for us, yeah, no, we know it's a great challenge for us. Um, and uh, we've got lots of guys that are excited about taking on the challenge. So, yeah, we know Munster have a lot of strengths um, in terms of the half backs. Yeah, they've, they've plenty of experience as well. So, um, as I said, it's going to be a good test for us.